Right now at six, from the high school football player to playing the flute in the high school band, all could soon be subject to random drug testing at one school district. The proposed policy is for the Oak Creek Franklin School District. And Ricky Mitchell is live outside Oak Creek High School tonight with more on why the district is considering this. Ricky. The superintendent here tells me that a parent actually approached the school board in July asking them to consider a random drug testing policy. The district has now taken the next step, but they want to hear from the community first. If they don't have anything to hide, they shouldn't worry about it. Sally Coulard's grandchildren attend Oak Creek High School. She says she wouldn't have any problem with the school randomly drug testing them. I think it's a good idea. Let them know that they better do the straight course and do the right thing. The policy, if approved, would allow the school to randomly test any student involved in athletics, co-curricular activities, or if they have parking permits. If a student tests positive, they wouldn't be expelled or suspended, but they would lose the parking permit and be subjected to other consequences under the athletics code. I think it should happen. I think it shows the students that the the school district is serious about it and they should be serious about it. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled in 2002 that randomly drug testing students who participate in voluntary activities is legal and does not violate any rights. Several area school districts already have similar policies in place. Pewaukee School District was one of the first in the state and says they currently test about 13 students a month. But the ACLU of Wisconsin does not support these policies in schools. A spokesperson responded, saying the organization opposes it because it's intrusive and demeaning, because it is ineffective and possibly counterproductive, and because resources spent on testing and punishment would be better spent on prevention and treatment. And we did speak to a few members of the cheer team here at Oak Creek off camera. They all said they would be OK with this kind of policy at their school. The district plans to hold two public meetings specifically on this topic. The first will be tomorrow evening and we have more information at TMJ4.com. Reporting live in Oak Creek, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4.